Okay, so this is a quick video to do a test and drill multiple holes. I posted a video about the build of this motor on YouTube and one of the comments was a question basically saying if we drill you know, more than one hole, how quickly will this slow down and is the drilling coming from the rotational mass of the rotor or actually from the torque of the motor? So I'm going to start this up with the high voltage DC. You can see it arcing uh, to the motor there. And we'll increase the, uh, the voltage to the motor and we'll do some testing. Okay, so before the motor gets up to max RPM, I'm going to start to drill here. And this motor would do a better job drilling if it was geared for drilling. So this motor is really not geared for drilling uh, holes, obviously. I would wanna gear this down to a lower RPM. But you can see I didn't let it get all the way up to speed and I'm really forcing my way uh, through this with the torque that's coming from the Atma motor. So we've drilled uh, three holes here. We're going into the fourth. That's six holes through the plastic, and we'll start drilling through the wood here. There's one, we'll go to the thicker side of the wood here. So at this point, I'm really drawing the motor down to the low RPM of the motor. So it's really torquing its way through the wood here. And we're not letting it get up to speed. It really does generate, I believe, more torque at a higher RPM. So ideally, you would gear this down. I'm going to let it speed up here, and you can hear how the motor wants to run at a much, much higher RPM than this. And yeah, there is some effect of the rotational mass. Like that first hole there, it did go through faster, but this one, I could bog it all the way down to the bottom and stop it if I wanted to. It'd probably arc. Let me do that. Oh, I tried and I, I couldn't even bog it down. It slowed down, but it didn't bog down all the way. I really pressed hard on this one. Let me see here. I'm running out of spots to drill. Tell you what I'll do. I'll turn off the, uh, I'll turn off the motor. And you'll see how quickly the motor comes to a stop from the rotational mass. And now I'll turn it on. And we'll let it go up to speed, but not get all the way up to speed. So now the motor is accelerating as it's drilling. And I stopped it. So with that, with the motor not getting up to speed, I was able to, to bring it to a stop. Actually, maybe not. It looks like it's separated here. So anyway, I think that's enough testing.